What better way to spruce up a playroom than to add a giant rainbow on the accent wall? In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did just that in my daughter's playroom and all the steps that it took to create this beautiful mural. Before we get started, I would so appreciate it if you left a comment, liked this video, and subscribed to our channel. I was going to wait until springtime to do any projects in the house, but it snowed about four inches yesterday, so I decided that I was going to be in for the weekend and why not do a fun project that I've been looking to do for a little bit. Here's what I did. First step, obviously you want to clear the wall that you're going to be painting on. We have our toy bins from Ikea set up in front of them, so I just moved everything out of the way and put a drop cloth down in preparation. You're going to want to make sure you mark where the center point of your wall is. My center point is right at six feet and I wanted this rainbow to take up basically the whole wall. So I made each of my block colors 10 inches wide with one inch gap in between each of my colors. And then I have a few inches on either side of the rainbow um, for like gray space. You're going to attach your twine to your pencil and then measure out how far your first half circle is going to be and then put the thumbtack through the twine into the wall at your center point. You're going to draw your half circle and then you're going to shorten your twine to the next half circle. I cut 10 inches off my twine since each of my color blocks is going to be 10 inches wide and then the next step I cut one inch off my twine to allow for the one inch of white gap I'm going to have in between each color and then again I just repeat that pattern. Take 10 inches off and then one inch, 10 inch, one inch. So however much you are wanting to have as a gap and however much space you are wanting to have for each color. My largest half circle was the hardest point to draw with the pencil. It's not too terribly difficult but um, those larger half circles were harder because I had less control. When I got down to the smaller half circles and I was able to hold my thumbtack to the wall and draw at the same time, that made it a little bit easier because I felt like it was a little bit more in control. Once I had my rainbow drawn on the wall, I got painter's tape to put on my baseboards to avoid any paint leaking. All right, we are finally at the fun part. We are painting. This is the color Ruffled Tutu from the brand Dutch Boy. It's a, from a store here in the Midwest called Menard. So I lucked out with this project. My best friend um, let me borrow her paint. She did a rainbow in her playroom and I loved the colors she used. They were so perfect and like just like a really good pastel color. So she let me use her remaining cans. She got quart sizes and there was hardly any gone from her cans and I didn't use a whole lot either. I mean, I could probably do like four more rainbows. So she had a quart size and I don't know, I don't wanna say you could get by with a sample size container because I know that's not a lot of paint, um, but if you do the quart sizes, that's gonna run you 15 to $20 a can. So um, I got lucky, my friend just let me use hers so I got to use it for free, but you might want to look for some sales if there's rebates or like buy one get one 50% off or buy one get one free. Um, definitely look for those. I wish I had some good advice to give you on how to stay within the lines when painting your rainbow. I just use my the pencil that I had traced as a guide and I very slowly did the edging and um, I just went over it a little bit with my brush to cover up the pencil mark and I just went very slow and then in the middle obviously I went a little bit faster um, but I just took my time and it's not perfect there are some spots that it curves out a little bit or there's um, a few dots from where my paintbrush slipped out but it's not noticeable as you can see in the end it looks 
really crisp and clean and um, up close you can see the little imperfections but I'm not bothered by it if you are you can definitely use some tape um, I will also add that we have smooth walls here where we just moved to back home we had textured walls which made it super difficult to do any um, like wall project like this at least for me um, I had a hard time with textured walls um, but that also helps here with the drawing and um, getting these um, smooth lines painted on uh, with the flat wall so just wanted to give that disclaimer that <laughs> I kind of have it a little bit easier with the smooth walls that are not textured here this next color is called sugar rush by Dutch boy as well and um, I don't know how much of this you want to see for me when I watch videos like this I love to see the progress so um, if you don't want to see a 10 minute video of me painting then skip to the end and if you want to just know the colors I'll leave them in the comments below or in the description below but yeah here is me painting Sugar Rush My next color here is Morning Jog, again by Dutch Boy. It's a really pretty light blue color. I had to skip down and do this color. As you can see, I skipped two colors there. Uh, that's just because I couldn't open those cans. This is Lavender and Lace. I like all of the colors, but this one might be my favorite. It's just the perfect like purpley red. It looks like a rose, like the perfect blooming rose to me. I don't know. I love it. This color is Siesta Key. I forgot to record my painting the yellow color, but that is Lemon Curd. So I painted this at nighttime and I waited for everything to dry until the next morning and then I went back in with my white paint and just touched up any areas in the background, that white color that I wanted to make crisp and clean. And here is my final product. Thanks so much for taking the time in watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. I have a goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers. I'm a fifth of the way there right now. So uh, if you don't mind subscribing to our channel for more DIY home videos.